hi everyone I am going to be doing a vlog of the you've got mail readathon that I'm doing um, I talked about it in a previous video that should be up already by the time you're watching this um, this is just probably going to cover all of September um, of just reading and doing all of the prompts for the you've got mail readathon so there we go I'm going to be starting with reading Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility because one of the prompts is to read Jane Austen. Um, so that's what we're doing now. I'm going to start reading it, get into it. I love the Sense and Sensibility story. Um, I love all of Jane Austen's stories, or most of them, at least the ones that I've read and most of the movies that I've watched. I, I'm just a big fan of Jane Austen. So there we have it. <laughs> anyway, well, let's get started. We talk about um, this edition of Sense and Sensibility. It is from Every Man's Library edition, which I think is an English company. I'm not 100% on that, but I just love this green. Can you see? The gold foil, the green cover, and it has a bookmark. I love every man's library editions of classics, and if I can find all, most, if not all, classics in these editions, I will probably switch them all out. <laughs> Except some older rare ones that I want to keep, you know, just because of their value and they're beautiful. But I have Pride and Prejudice in this edition as well, and so I'm hoping to find Emma and other Jane Austen. I don't know if they print all of Jane Austen's in these editions, but I love them. They're so beautiful. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I was so happy when I found them. Hello. Um, I'm currently working on trying to get this video, my September TBR video, <laughs> uploaded to YouTube. So... That's what we're doing, and I'm just, you know, working on reading while I'm waiting because it seems to love to take its time. My whole computer has been glitching today. I don't know what's happening and why. So I'm going to quick run to the library, get my nice big tote, <laughs> um, and pick up the books that I put on. I should make sure I'm in frame. Um, and I'm going to pick up the books that I put on hold for the You've Got Mail Readathon. So excited. I haven't been to the library in many, many months. And I love our local library. It is my favorite. It's so beautiful. It's in an old building and yeah, it's just my favorite. So I'm gonna quick run there and grab those. I don't know if I'll take you guys along because I'm just not there yet, you know, comfortable with filming in public. Maybe. Anyway, let's go. I smell like smoke. I've been burning some things to clean up outside, but I just wanted to pop in. Give it a little update. I started reading Ballet Shoes by Noelle Streetfield. Um, it's also one of the books that I'm reading for this um, You've Got Mail readathon. And because um, Kathleen Kelly recommends it on the movie, if you remember. And um, I've read two chapters so far. Um, I like it already. Um, 
you don't know what the book is about, it follows three little girls, Pauline, Petrova, and Posey. They're orphans and they decide to help out their new family by joining the Academy of Dancing and Stage Training and you know, it's just a little, it's a junior book. Um, about three little girls who follow their dreams and this is one that I picked up from the library today so yes um, I made myself a little brevet I'm gonna sit here and read for a bit you know trying to read as much as possible so that I can get through these books that I have and also just to spend less time watching things because reading is obviously way better for you but here we are the brevet it has no flavoring in it it's just straight up espresso and half and half and it's so good I I've always preferred unsweet drinks but usually when I go to a coffee shop I get a little bit of vanilla in my drinks but when I was in Poland this summer everywhere we went to the, all the coffee shops you can rarely find you know coffee shops that make drinks with syrups and make them really sweet like you can find here in America and which wasn't a bad thing for me because like I said I don't really like sweet coffee drinks anyway so it worked out great but even here at home I often will put honey brown sugar or maple syrup in just to give it a little bit of flavor and a little bit of sweet but when I was in Poland I fell in love with just straight up iced lattes or breves because I prefer the creaminess of the half and half it's just it's really good I I am a big fan we're also not going to talk about the fact that this is the second one for the day That's it. I'm gonna read for a bit now. Oh, somebody tucked this little card in here as a bookmark. Library books. Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I thought I should give a little reading update for this Give Got Mail readathon. Um, cause I have not been. I love watching reading vlogs. I just don't know how people do it because you just read a lot and I'll figure it out. But now on chapter, ready for chapter 10. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. For the most part. <laughs> I find myself. I find myself getting very distracted easily while reading it. Like it's not just like holding my attention and I don't know. Like I'm I I don't know how to say it. I like the characters and I think it's fun to watch the little story of the three little girls and but I feel like the timeline just jumps ahead a lot like too much. I don't know. I'm so basically just halfway through. Um, I'm gonna finish it, but we'll just have to wait till the end to see if I actually truly enjoyed it. But right now, I gotta be honest, I am a little bored. Um, I haven't read any more of Sense and Sensibility. I find that when I'm reading classics, I need to just have specific time set aside to sit down and read that because of the older language, you know, it doesn't just flow as easily as, you know, more modern writings. But I love the story of Sense and Sensibility, and I love reading classics. I just, it just doesn't, if I want to sit down, I gotta make sure I stay in frame. If I, if I want to read a lot and get through a book quickly, then I gravitate towards other books before I go to the classics. Does that make sense? There's that. But 
I read this one. I started it yesterday, and 11 hours later, last night at one o'clock, <laughs> I finished it. I wasn't reading the entire 11 hours from the time I started it to the time I finished it. There were other things that I was doing, and but I was reading it every chance I could get. I could not put it down. It is my new favorite book. I, I'll talk more about it when I do a reading wrap up for September, but I'm very happy <laughs> that I found this one and that I enjoyed it so much. It's, it's just the perfect book set in a book a bookstore set in a bookshop in London it's about books how the characters come together through stories during the hard times of World War II the bombing of London and all of that but uh, yeah I'll go more into detail but this was definitely a five-star read for me easily new favorite this is the library's copy so I'm gonna be adding this to my library as soon as I possibly can <laughs> It, it's so good so yeah there's my little reading update I'm gonna keep working on ballet shoes I just want to finish it today so that I'm just done with it I'm a little sad that I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would I, like in the beginning I thought I was gonna really enjoy it but it's <sighs> I'm a little bored but we'll see if it gets better I did want to say, I think when I introduced this book in my um, September TBR video, I said I had never heard of these books, which I didn't. I didn't know there was a book, but it did bring back a memory from back in my childhood of the movie Ballet Shoes. So I don't really remember the movie and even if the, like, what actually happened in the story. So. Nothing is getting spoiled, <laughs> but just wanted to throw that in there. It did. I kind of remember a little bit about this story, but not much. Still bored. I'm sorry if anybody loves these books, especially to Kathleen Kelly. I'm just, I am just a little bored. Probably because the bookshop, the last bookshop in London was so good <laughs> that I just devoured it. And it's just like I'm forcing myself to get through this one. And I hate when I have to force myself to get through books. I just wanted to love it. But here we are. Carry on. Okay, hi guys. It is um, again Sunday afternoon when I'm updating. Clearly, I don't know how to do these reading vlogs because I don't give updates when I actually pick up my books and read because I just want to pick up my books and read. Anyway, um, wanted to give an update. I finished Ballet Shoes. Um, I've already returned the book, so I don't have it here to talk about, but um, I finished it and um, I was glad to be done. It was just not my favorite, not my favorite junior book I've ever read. And I'm sorry if people love it, but I, I just didn't enjoy it. There was just so much talk about ballets and rehearsals and things like that. And with a little bit of other stuff about their lives mixed in. At least that's what it felt like. And I don't know, maybe I should read some of the others and see if I like those better. But yeah, I did not. I was just honestly bored by it. So, apologize for that. <laughs> but um, I'm also slowly making my way through um, Sense and Sensibility and I, I love it. it just again it takes me I have to take in classics a few chunks at a time just because they're good and I like to you know slowly read through them and I have the rest of this month to finish it so I'm not in that big of a hurry but yes I'm still really enjoying it um, and then the other one I finished, I already picked up the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society and I finished it. I was just a couple pages in a few days ago, I don't remember. What? It's okay. I started a couple days ago and was just a couple pages in because I'm in the middle of reading a lot of other books. But yesterday I picked it up and could not put it down again. It was, it was a rainy 
dreary <laughs> cold day the first cold day of the season and i was very happy about that and so i just spent a lot of time cozied up and reading the guernsey literary and potato peel pie society and again it is a reread it's so good it was so good again i just i laughed several times i just love the characters in this story so if you haven't read this one yet i feel like most of the people I watch on booktube talk about this book and how much they love it so you should know by now that it is a good read and it's a great it's, it's just a great story and then we watched the, my friend and I she came over this afternoon and we watched the movie and I didn't realize how much the movie changed some things about the story because I'd actually watched the movie first and then read the book but I didn't remember that time how different it was but having just read the book yesterday and then watched the movie today. I was like, wow, they really did change some things, but I still love them both. They're both great, but I think the book is better, obviously. But anyway, that is my little reading update a whole week later. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go make myself some tea. I already had coffee this afternoon, so I don't think I should be drinking more. And you gotta drink tea when you're reading books set in England, okay? You just have to. And it's a good thing I love tea as well. So I'm going to go make myself some tea and we're just going to read a couple more chapters of Sense and Sensibility. Slowly making my way through this readathon and checking off props. I'm feeling pretty good so far. <laughs>
decided to come outside because my husband was watching a movie and it was a little loud, a little distracting. And I love, I am loving my new patio. I'm finally getting things fixed up nice enough out here to sit. And I'm so ready for the fall evenings just to chill out here on the back patio with the nice twinkly lights. They're not twinkly, just, you know, cozy lights and the fires. All of that. I'm just really excited. <laughs> so I decided to bring my book and tea out here to read for a bit. Hi guys, so back on to give an update, I'm trying to make sure I don't spill my coffee. Um, it is now Tuesday, my battery died on Sunday and I just now found a charged one and put it in. Um, I got to chapter 12 in Sense and Sensibility. Marianne has just, or Marianne and Mr. Willoughby are currently just fawning over each other. I like to call Mr. Willoughby Mr. Wannabe because that's what he is. <laughs> I mean, if you don't actually know the story, I apologize for ruining it for you. I don't want to do spoilers. But I can kind of see from what we know of Mr. Willoughby why Marianne likes him so much. Kind of. So another uh, prompt in this whole You've Got Mail readathon is to read a rom-com. And I picked up, um, or I grabbed Flatshare from the, um, from the library the other day. Let me get it here. Wow, it's really dark. <laughs> there we go. I got The Flatshare by Beth O'Leary. This one is pretty popular on booktube and it was also, it was recommended by, um, by Chantel, I should say. But I started reading it and I only got like through the first chapter and was like, I don't think this is for me. And that's all I'm going to say about it. So I DNF'd it and I decided to find another one. So I quickly went on Scribd and got a free one month <laughs> uh, subscription. And I started reading um, by the book. And I'm not even sure what the author's name is. It is a YA rom-com. I don't love YA. I have had no luck with YA romances this year. I I can't... I pretty much hate them. <laughs> but this one, it's um, by the book by Amanda Sellett. And I started reading it on my computer. Basically, it's about a young girl, a sophomore in high school, who loves reading all of the classics. Jane Austen, you know, everything. And she likes to um, kind of describe her life or, you know, take advice from these, um, these books in regards to everything in her life, pretty much. And yeah, I'm enjoying it so far, actually. Surprised that I'm enjoying it so far. Um, but I'm hoping it's clean and I hope it's, you know, Nothing too ridiculous, because like I said, YA is just not where it's at for me. But that is my little reading update. Um, I'm going to hopefully finish, I want to try to finish by the book today. 
so that I can get another of those prompts checked off and get through my other September TBR books that I'm doing that aren't related to the um, You've Got Mail readathon because I have quite a lot. I also made a goal to read 10 books this month. So far, um, I'm, I'm four books in, I think. Yes, four books. So, you know, I'm getting there and I still have at least two and a half more weeks this month left. So I think I can do it if I just get on it and read, you know, so. Uh, that is what I'm doing. I need to go get the mail. I should go get the mail. I was gonna say that I just got home from work and showered and I put on a sweatshirt because it's warm today. It was very warm at work, but when I got home, our house was cold because of AC running, but I stepped outside again and there was a breeze that had a little bit of coolness to it. Usually the summer breezes are warm, but this one had a little bit of coolness to it, and I'm like, yes, the season is changing. It's finally changing, and I'm so excited. I'm so here for it. <laughs> anyway, I should get to reading. Bye. Thursday, but I am currently 36% of the way through um, by the book, and so far it's I'm still enjoying it, which I'm surprised because I have not enjoyed very many YA books. Um, but this one so far is, you know, I'm still invested. I'm still enjoying it for the most part. Um, there's there's been some language added in now, and I don't appreciate that. I'm like, why? It's not necessary. But anyway, I've been kind of whew, a little busy today, so I haven't been doing a, a whole lot of reading. I've, um, I filmed a reading wrap-up video for the entire year up to September of everything that I've read, and then I was editing that and getting it all ready to go to go up on Saturday, um, which would be the 17th, two days from now. Um, so yeah, um, and then I was hanging up curtains and doing a little bit of organizing and cleaning, trying to get some fall projects done. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more read tonight because I still have several books that I want to finish, especially for this readathon, plus some other books. So I'm gonna get to some reading right now before supper, waiting on it to finish. Hopefully, the rest of the evening I can spend reading. So, yes. jumped when I said hello. Hi, back again with another reading update. I've clearly not done the greatest job with this whole reading vlog, but you know, here we are. I am working on completing my last book for this whole You've Got Mail readathon, and um, yes, I did get a clip. I was trying to remember. I got a clip of watching um, the actual movie again, You've Got Mail. Loved it as usual. It's, 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 it's good. It's just one of those cozy, fun movies. But anyway, I'm still working through Sense and Sensibility, but um, I'm 200 pages in now. Um, this is right after uh, Willoughby's uh, wrongful choices in life. Have caught up with him and Marianne knows his true character, <laughs> I guess I should say. So 
yeah, I want to try to finish this book today so that I can finish up this video, edit it, and have it ready to go, and then film my um, October TBR, things like that. But yes, like I said, this is the first time I'm reading Sense and Sensibility, and I'm enjoying it. But who doesn't enjoy an Austin book? Okay, some people don't enjoy them, but you know. I, I am loving it. It's, it's fantastic. And I will say, I thought compared to um, like Pride and Prejudice and Emma, this one seems to be moving along a lot faster, I thought. But it's also been a long time since I've read those books. And Persuasion is also a little slower, but only because there's not quite as much dialogue. You're just more in Anne's head the whole time. Um, but I'm just getting tired. Yeah, the, because when I would watch like the movies for Pride and Prejudice and Emma, it, it would go fast, you know, because they're movies. And then when I read the books, I'm like, wow, there's a lot in here that kind of makes the story drag a little bit. But Sense and Sensibility, it's, it seems like it's actually moving along fairly quickly, which I'm, I'm very happy about. So I'm going to attempt to finish this, this one today. Um, I've got my... Coffee over there. Cute mug again. <laughs> but anyway, let's get let's get to reading. Okay, so I'm going to start a time lapse right now and try to complete the final 360 pages that I'm- 300? That's ridiculous. The 160 pages that I need to read yet to finish this book. So starting the time lapse now and we're going to try to sit down and finish it within the next hour or so. However long it takes, we don't know. Oh hey, back with another update on the whole You've Got Mail readathon. Um, I thought I was done with it. Um, it is Tuesday the 27th um, and I had pretty much finished all of the prompts that I wanted to finish. You'll see, you would have seen the clip and the time lapse of me finishing Sense and Sensibility. But, and that was going to be my last one, but um, Last night, Chantel was doing reading sprints on her channel, live reading sprints on her channel, and I hopped on and was going to just read some of the other books I was working on for my September TBR. But then I decided to go ahead and complete another prompt for the sprints, um, and that was reading a Maud Hart Lovelace book. Um, tried to find some at the library and didn't have them and so i was like ah i'll just pass on those then no big deal but i'm currently in the middle of my month-long free subscription to scribd and i found one on there and so i was like hey it's a short book let me read it during the sprints and just go ahead and finish off another another prompt but I was interrupted and I wasn't able to finish it. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be doing my own sprints and just set a timer for 15 minutes and at a time and try to read as much as possible. I got 17% of the way through the book last night, but I want to try to finish it today. There's only like 132 pages. I'm also wearing the blue light blocking glasses because I'm reading it on my computer and my eyes hurt. If I'm staring at a computer screen this close for too long, so hence the glasses. I don't actually have subscription glasses. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get started. Setting a timer 
for 15 minutes and then reading for said 15 minutes at a time. Try to get this done. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I um, read 10% more, got to 27%. <laughs> it's a very quick read, that's for sure, and it jumps ahead quite a bit in this format, as in I can get through it quickly. Um, I'm actually, I'm really enjoying this one. Like, I mentioned in this, in the video earlier that Ballet Shoes was a little boring to me, but this one, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's very interesting. I like her writing style and the story. I'm interested. I'm, I'm very interested in the adventures of Betsy and Tacey. <laughs> so we are going to go again with the 15 minutes. Okay, good morning. <clears throat> wow, my voice. I've been coughing this morning and it's, I don't know if I'm coming down with something or what is happening, but we're back. Same place, different day. Um, I think I forgot to finish out um, what I was doing when I was doing the 15 minute reading sprints the other night, but I did get like 30 to 40% through the book. And then last night I was reading it again and I got to 72%. So this morning, I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna finish this. And my battery's about to die, but we're gonna finish this. I always put on some, or not always, but I often will put on some classical music playlists on YouTube to listen to while I'm reading. And I've got my coffee and I'm going to finish this book today. I literally have today and tomorrow to finish up these books that I wanted to get done for September and I need to get on it. So I, I don't know, I should do some kind of readathon or something. 12 hour readathon because I can't do a 24 hour it doesn't fit in my schedule this weekend but yes I'm here I want to try to finish this and get two other books completed today and tomorrow so we'll see how that goes but for this readathon for the you've got mail readathon I just need to finish Betsy Tacey so I'm gonna finish that now let's go Well, I just finished it. I was at 80% and then I, I flipped to the next page and it was like little fireworks going off saying that I finished the book and I was like, what? Okay. thought I had a little bit more to read, but apparently it was just a lot of different information about um, the author, Maud Hart Lovelace, and just some more information about the story and what she, what her inspiration was. And I finished it earlier than I expected. But... I loved the story and now I want to read the rest of the books in this series and yeah I really enjoyed it and I think most young girls would also love to read these. It's an excellent little junior book um, and a sweet little story but yes this will conclude the You've Got Mail readathon. I had so much fun with it and I, I pretty much I think I loved all of the books that I read so far pretty for the most part except ballet shoes we're not gonna talk about that but you know I, I had a fun time with this, so thank you Chantel for putting it on this month. Um, but yes, let me know if you also participated and what books were your favorite um, and which ones you chose for the prompts this month. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.